technology is filmmaking. The camera is very technologically advanced, you know, the stuff that that's doing. And the stuff we did on this movie, visual effects wise, we did things very differently that we couldn't have done a few years earlier. The camera equipment, we used gimbals, and there was all these little advances that happened over the last few years that just liberated us in some way. We also made the film kind of backwards VFX wise. Normally what you do is you sit with concept artists and you design the world and then you show that to the studio and they go, oh my God, that's $300 million. The only way we can do this is, is you have to shoot in a studio with, with green screen. So we were like, we don't want to do it that way at all. We want to go into the real world and really shoot this thing. And the only way we could really pull it off was shoot everything as if it was there. We didn't have tracking markers on anyone really. Didn't want people in those pajamas, you know, those motion capture suits. And then edit the movie. And then when we were sure about what the shots were, that's when we designed the world. So then we would take frames of the shots and we would sit and Photoshop and over Zoom. And essentially we would design the science fiction on top. And then we projected that image, whatever we had painted in Photoshop, kind of onto two and a half D, kind of 3D geometry. So it had parallax and stuff and it felt like it was there. And it was like stuff that would have normally taken like a month to do, we were doing in just a couple of days. I feel like that approach would have been very difficult a few years back. We went to did a location scout in like seven different countries and then suddenly the pandemic hit. So I, I wanted to get like the best possible workstation I could. And through my friends at AMD, got like this crazy, crazy fast computer. You can do so many things because you have a vehicle at home. My personal dream for AI is that it democratizes filmmaking. You could draw something, take a photo, put it into the AI, and then start playing with it and arranging it just like you would do in the real world with, you know, actors and locations and just be able to direct it and generate footage. I think it's going to just be part of the tool set of filmmaking and because it feels like it's going to be something that's available to everybody, it's not going to be a studio driven, only people with millions of dollars can do this. It feels like more of a grassroots revolution.